Welcome, Pilgrim, to the Wall Street Shuffle. Now that's the Treasury Department. They want to take more of your money and give it to Wall Street. The stock market has crashed and the politicians want you to write Wall Street a blank check, leaving you holding their subprime shit. And that's the White House. I guess Wall Street has a subprime mortgage on them because they're doing anything they're telling them to. This crisis was caused by deregulation and fraud. They robbed their own banks and now they want you to pay them for robbing you. Sir, could you help me buy a politician? Help me buy a politician? I need $100,000 to attend a political fundraiser. Help me buy a politician. I need $100,000 to attend a political fundraiser. Sir, can you help me? For the past 30 years, these bastards in Washington have not only deregulated Wall Street, but they've legalized bribery and fraud. In 1992, I put up a sign in front of the New York Stock Exchange titled, The Advantages of an Unregulated Free Market Economy. The sign said that deregulation and fraud caused each and every bubble and crash since the 1890s. And that includes the 1929 stock market crash, the junk bond trading crash, and the savings and loan scandal, the hedge fund bailout, the internet bubble, Enron, WorldCom, and their corporate cronies. This is an old game. Have you noticed that there are fewer banks today than yesterday? In that the big banks are getting bigger? The name of the game is Monopoly Capitalism. There they are. There's more politicians ready to sell you down the road to Wall Street. There's an ambulance. Dick Cheney must be in the crew. Treasury Secretary Henry Paulson came up with the idea for the bailout. Secretary Paulson was chairman and chief executive officer of Wall Street's Goldman Sachs and a member of the International Monetary Fund's Board of Governors. Treasury Secretary. Now that's a title that inspires confidence. In 1804, Vice President Aaron Burr shot and killed Alexander Hamilton in a duel. Hamilton was the first Secretary of the Treasury, a banker, and one of the founding fathers of Wall Street. Aaron Burr's career was ruined, and he's not viewed well by history. But I propose that we start the Aaron Burr Society, a nonviolent society made up of a new breed of citizen that actually pays attention to what's going on. Hell, we're on our own, because the politicians and news media are owned by Wall Street and their corporate cronies. Did you ever see a bigger flag? That flag is covering up the rot inside the New York Stock Exchange. Anytime a banker or politician wraps themselves in a flag, you better hold on to your wallet. If they wrap themselves in a flag and start saying that they're talking to Jesus, then you know all hell's going to break loose. Pilgrims, what happened with the subprime mortgage crisis and the international meltdown that followed was a well-planned bank robbery by the owners of the bank. It's happened before and it will happen again unless you stop them. So come back for another hand of the Wall Street Shuffle. I'm going to name names and tell you what bills were passed in Congress and who was involved in the payola.